Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the SEO Power Suite website auditor and just kind of give you an idea of some of the features and perks that come along with it. Spoiler alert, there's a good amount of them, so I'm just going to do kind of a quick overview so you get an idea. You can follow along, which I highly recommend you do. I will put a link down below in the description, and if you click that, you can actually get free access to SEO Power Suite, which is always a good thing. So let's continue. First, when you open this up, it's going to ask you to enter in your domain. That is something that I did. There's usually going to be a checkbox there. We can actually get different settings if you want. But for this, I just did the basic, add the domain, click on the finished button, and then of course, wait till it load. The reason I didn't show you that is because if you have a pretty big website, it's going to take a lot longer for this to kind of go over and get all the information so that you can properly audit your website overall or maybe specific pages. So that's something to keep in mind after you get up and running. So if you have a brand new website, it's not going to take too long. But if you have more and more and more articles, that's something to keep in mind. So here we are when it comes to pages. You can take a look at some of the details here. We have the page uh, status code, click depth. Pretty much is going to be their definition is going to be better in mind. But the number of clicks from the home page that a certain URL was found, in my opinion, of course, usually the closer to a homepage, the better it's going to be, right? Especially if you link off your homepage, you're going to be getting some good link juice there. You know, if you have a really important page and it takes, you know, six clicks to get to, is it really going to be that important? Probably not, right? It could be just something maybe random, something that just answers a quick question, maybe doesn't get a ton of traffic, but usually the stuff that's going to be closer is overall going to be better. So something to keep in mind. You can go through it that way. We we'll also have links to page, links from page, word count and tags. If you want to add some more sections to this in terms of columns, you're going to see that there's going to be plenty here that you can utilize. You know, that's going to be up to you in terms of what you're going to be looking for overall. Aside from that, we do have a site audit here. I will click on this for you and it'll give you some errors, warnings and information that you can utilize. So some of these are overall not going to be too bad in my opinion. I think some of these just kind of show up as an error in my opinion, thanks to some specific plugins or say when it comes to like, you know, URLs and also um, what's it called? What's the thing? Pretty link. The, if you use WordPress, the pretty link plugin, I'm not sure if that's affecting it, but some of those will uh, show, you know, like a link is broken, even though it goes to something else. So that's something to keep in mind. You can click on error just to see those one at a time. There's going to be the warning sections with two big pages. And I agree, these sometimes take a little bit longer to uh, load up. I think they are very long in terms of not only a lot of pictures, but a lot of text, which that's something that I can agree with. But you know, if you have a specific URL or an article that's ranking well, I probably wouldn't mess around with it too much, but loading speed can be something. We have dynamic URLs and say too long of URLs. See, once again, this is more a WP thing, like these aren't actually shown there. So something like that, I would just, you know, kind of go over and say, okay, not a big deal. Clearly the URL isn't like that. That's just something that comes up, say with like WP, you know, whatever the, the plugin is, right? Here is where I was talking about when it comes to broken links. So a lot of these are all just going to be, uh, what's the word? I lost it again. Uh, the WP pretty link. So I think because of that, it kind of shows that they're going to be broken. However, you can test them all. I have, they work great. So that's something I've, I've noticed as well is that some of these, while they might have warnings, they might not be like true warnings more. So just like check it out, make sure you're going to be good to go. Here's some of these when it comes to titles as well. This is something that you could definitely change if needed. Once again, this is more of a recommendation. If you have an article that's ranking well, you're getting a good amount of clicks. People are staying on it. They're browsing around. Maybe they're purchasing. They're generating leads. You know, if something's not broken, you don't need to fix it. Okay. So just because the title is too long doesn't mean you have to change it around. Last but not least, we have our information. So there's going to be a few other things that you can change around. Maybe you want to go like this. So you can just see the info empty alt text. So some of these are going to, you know, that's fine. <laughs> Out of all the pictures I have, if there's only 103 with no alt text, that's going to be fine. Do follow external links. Now they recommend putting no follow on them so you don't lose any link juice. However, I think those are going to be fine. Don't mind giving Builderpreneur some free link juice. He's got a great website and, uh, you know, a few others. So out of all the links I have, that's going to be good. And a few others going on from there, really up to you what you want to change around and so on and so forth. But that's a great way to kind of go through and say, maybe there were some do follow external links where you don't want the link juice, you know, going somewhere else. You can just simply go in, add a no follow, very easy to do on WordPress, and then go from there. 
Next is going to be visualization, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I like how this looks, aside from looking like fireworks and so on and so forth. This will kind of show you the setup of your website, where your homepage is, some of the big categories that you have here, like you can see sales funnels, AI marketing, landing pages, affiliate marketing. I think that's webinars. Yes, it is. It'll also show you some of the broken links or maybe the orphan pages. And if you click on this or scroll in a little bit more, You'll see this was a 301 moved permanently. That's just for the author. That's not a big deal. And of course, this is going to be looks like for something related to a uh, WordPress plugin once again. So I think a lot of the red is there what we saw before. Not always going to be a big deal, especially if it works, but it will come up like that sometimes. So something for you to keep in mind. Aside from that, we do have our page audit. So this is something kind of cool. You can actually put in a specific keyword and get some advice when it comes to optimizing it or maybe ranking for it. So if we go to technical audit, I put in tube atlas review. And as you can see, when we put it in, it's going to give us some information. Okay, let's go to this one here with the content audit. So it talks about keywords and title. If it's green, it's going to be good to go. It's talking about what you have here. So about 2100 words. So as you can see here, it says, good job. The length of your page's body text is close to the recommended range. Your top ranking competitors' pages have about 949, as high as 3,600. So what it does is it, look through, it looks through and it sees what are the other competitors doing? Where are you? What do you need to change? I'm pretty sure I'm ranked number one for this. So a lot of this should be good in the first place. And of course, when it comes to content editor, this is cool because it allows you to actually see these specific posts that you have. And what it's going to do is give you some recommended keywords. I have a lot of those, only a few I'm not utilizing. Like I said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. We also have some competitors here in case you want to see what they are doing in terms of their reviews, how they're writing them, get some ideas, so on and so forth. We have topics and questions. Okay, so it says enter topics and questions that should be covered on the page. We already have that. We're good. Word cloud going down here, just kind of showing you a visualizing factor, visualization factor of what's going on there. So I do like this, especially if you are creating something from scratch or more so you're just editing it to get more keywords in there. For example, if the optimization rate was like 40, you probably got a good amount of keywords to add in there overall. Okay. So aside from that, there are going to be plenty of other things. They have the TFIDF, be having the reports section scrolling down here. I'm just going to kind of go through very quickly. This talks about this specific page once again. The reason I have this is because I added it in previously. You know, you didn't get to see it. I just put it in to show you, but it will go through and show you more of a report as opposed to, you know, what we had before here with the audit showing it right here on this side. Okay. Domain strength reports and of course site structure. We went over some with the pages, resources, site audit overall. I lost my train of thought there. So here we are at the top of the SEO Power Suite website auditor. What you really need to do is add in your domain. And then from there, it's going to be up to you in terms of what you want to audit, whether it needs to be on a page by page basis, which can take a long time, especially if you have a lot of pages, you know, whether you want it to be by your whole website all at once, where you can see your errors, your warnings and your information, whether you want to get some quick wins, you can do that. Like I talked about in terms of the external links or maybe pages with excessive number of links, you can kind of trim that down images. If there's no alt text, you can go in and do that. Some of these aren't going to be a huge deal. You know, some you can keep as they are and some you're really going to want to change, especially say if you have broken links or if, you know, you have a redirect and it's not working. Those are the things you can want to pick up on because you'll immediately lose traffic. But overall, in a nutshell, that's how it works. That's some of the features that come along with it, as well as the perks, as well as what you can do to not only help rank higher, but change around some of the aspects of your website articles or just help improve your articles so that you can rank higher as well. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to check out SEO Power Suite, you can utilize their website auditor as well. I will have that link down below where you can try them out for free. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.